Greetings, boys and girls. It's Dr. Clone. Yes, I'm back. From a very long and enjoyable vacation. I now know what I'm going to be doing this summer. Yes, I'm going to have some fun. Now, I promised you all out there I wouldn't harm my brother directly. However, I never said I wouldn't harm him indirectly. Yes. So, my plans for this summer, I'm going to take my brother's best friends and all of his ex-girlfriends and current girlfriend. We're going to be playing a massive game of hide and seek. He'll be the seeker while I'll make his friends hide in different dimensions because I finally got my portal working. Unfortunately, as you know, the damn thing malfunctioned and I was trapped for a while. But it's no longer the case. And I've already started. You see, my brother's best friend in the world, the one who's like our half-brother, is now in my custody. He was once a soldier. You can't see the tag tags, but you know who he was. And for those who don't, his name was Etzel. Brave man he was. It wasn't easy to capture him either. I had to tell Jeremiah to do it. He put up one hell of a fight, believe me. It's probably because he was in the middle of drinking a six pack. You know the old saying. Don't interrupt the man while he's enjoying his six-pack. But, now, I'm gonna let my brother know what I did by telling Vince to give him Edsel's dog tags so he knows that I have him. I'm about to send Edsel to another dimension. Sorry, boys and girls, I can't risk you seeing. I can't have anyone telling him where I'm gonna send Edsel. Edsel is only the first. There will be others. Now, yeah. that being said, I'm sure you've all noticed the unusual weather patterns. Don't worry, that's not me. I don't deal with messing with the weather. I hate this human weather myself. go find my brother's other loved ones, or I should say friends, but I'm going to save his new pretty girlfriend for you guys. Yes, you know who she is. It's going to destroy him. Yes. <laughs> hey, Stucor bitch. Where Jeremiah is. You're not gonna tell me where that little bitch is, what he cost me. The one place that is no longer here. I had one chance, I had one damn chance to finally go there again, and he took that from me. If you wanna find Jeremiah, go ask your old friend Vince. <clears throat> Very well, old chum. I'm on the way. Hello, old chum. What are you doing? Do you not see I'm trying to do my morning workout? Uh, ah! Uh, 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 where the fuck is Jeremiah? Oh, so you heard what he did? Yeah, I was there, jackass. I was finally gonna finally be able to go back to Caddy's and eat. Whoa, I whoa, whoa! What are you talking about? I guess you didn't hear, after all, what he did. What did he do? You see, the boss realizes he promised not to hurt you directly. But he never said he wouldn't hurt you indirectly. So, he decided to play a game of hide and go seek with your close friends. Yes, I'm your best friend. 
but the one that you tried to replace me with. I'm sure you will remember his name. Because we have a dog chain right here. That's right. <coughs> 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 I really shouldn't have done that. He didn't explain everything to me. How dare you? How dare you? He was an innocent. He's a family man now. He's not even part of our world no more. You think you could... Come here and not get a few shots in. Tell me where to find him, Vince. <laughs> you would love to know, wouldn't you? But that's too bad. I won't say a word. You'll just have to uh, find him yourself. So, I'll be seeing you soon. No. Bye bye. <laughs> da, da. How the hell am I gonna find out where he is? Why would he involve innocent people? They're not part of this world no more. There's only one I can go to for the answers I need. Okay, I'm gonna need a lot of water. Oh the crap. I have to open a store or something, dude. I went for a whole case of these. You came back. I need your help. And even after, you haven't really finished what you paid the last time. Hmm. Wait, what, what was I last to do? I can't. You have the audacity to come here and not even remember the first deal that you made with the collector? Oh, it's been going on. I lost all my stuff. Um, I almost got to go to my favorite place, which has been gone for years, and then I got stopped from going there. I didn't want to come back and get revenge for that. And I was trying to find my brother, and then my brother was really just doing all this stuff that screwed me over. And then when I came back, he, he was screwing me over even more, and now he's like affecting innocent people who are even involved in this world. So what exactly are you trying to say? What do you want from us? Well... Apparently my brother is taking my best friend. I want to know where he is and if there's anyone else I should be looking for as well. Yes, I can tell you. But first, I need to collect. This will only sting for a moment. <laughs> What the fuck did you just do? I took three years of your life. What? I told you what would happen if you didn't pay me back. I'd collect your life. But I won't collect it all in one go. That'd be a waste out of an investment. As for the whereabouts of your friend, if you hurry, you might be able to save him. The one known as Jeremiah hasn't thrown them in the portal yet. If you hurry, you might be able to save him. I'll text you the coordinates on your phone where to go. Wait, you have a number? Yes. So I could just text you instead of coming all the way Oh, no. Me? I expect people to actually come here. The journey to the desert tells me 
if you're worthy or not of my help or services. There it is in mine. If you fail to pay me again, I'll borrow more of your life now. What do I have to pay you for this information? It must be something of equal value. Now go. Before I change my mind. Time splitter, back to Dr. Clone's base. Honestly, does anyone ever listen to what I say? I probably should have told him that Dr. Clone paid me a visit, and he just paid me double not to tell him the full details. I'm a businessman at heart. I have no loyalty or allegiance to no one. The only thing I need or want is currency. Currency could come in many forms. That's the only loyalty I have, is your currency, not the individual's. But he'll soon find that out the hard way. This world is not a nice world, no. And anyone that would say otherwise is either naive or foolish. Huh. You put up quite the fight, that's all. For a man your age, you're a tough bastard. It's over. Now I have you trapped in this suitcase. Settle down in there. Settle down. Don't worry. We're not going to kill you. That wasn't part of the plan. I'm just going to throw you in this portal here. It's Dr. Cone's version of hide and go seek. You're going to hide, and your friend Anthony's going to seek you out. Have fun! <laughs> yeah. My job is done. Oh. Before I forget, hey boys and girls, it's Jeremiah. Right hand man, Dr. Paul. Uh, it's been a while since you've seen me. I'm pretty sure you know by now what's going on. Yes. There's going to be so much fun this summer. Yes. But before I forget, I gotta leave this little message so Dr. Clone's brother knows what happened. Oh, I can't wait to see the look on his face. Well, we won't meet face to face right now. I gotta go and track down his other close friends. And like the doctor said, we're gonna give his pretty little girlfriend a <laughs> I always wonder why I never um, use Time Splitter when I go to meet the collector. Kind of asinine on my part to waste so much time. Oh wow. So this is the portal that my brother got trapped in. I wonder why he would keep such a thing. After all the grief it cost him, all the trouble me having to even for Wait, why am I here? Oh my What's this? Greetings, my foolish brother. You're probably wondering why you're here. Well, you remember, what your old chum Vince said? I decided to play a game of hide and go seek with you and your close friends. They're gonna hide and you're gonna seek. The difference is I'm gonna help them hide in different dimensions. And you had to find them. You're probably wondering why am I doing this? For the same reason why I do most of the things I do. Either I think it's funny or I'm just bored. In this case, it's more like the latter. 
Not only that, I did promise that I wouldn't harm you directly. But I never said I wouldn't harm you indirectly. Oh. And four of again. The last person on the list that we're going to take is your new pretty girlfriend. Except for it's more personal. We're brothers. Why do you keep doing these things to me? Very well, Dr. Cone. If this is what you want, I still got Time Splitter. It will take me to wherever my close friends are. But first things first, I'm going to go to my girlfriend first to make sure she's safe. Ah. Greetings. So you're back. <sighs> Some of you out there are probably wondering, Dr. Clone, how can you do these things? Well, I could stand here and try to explain myself, but then I realize, why should I do that? It's me, Dr. Clone. You shouldn't expect this sort of thing from me by now. Don't worry, all I'm doing is just playing a harmless game of hide and go seek. Nothing's gonna happen to my brother's little friends. Are they gonna be trapped in different dimensions inside of suitcases? Yes, but other than that, they'll be fine. Because you see, even though they're inside suitcases, they're not actually awake. They're asleep, a deep sleep. No, I'm not saying that they're dead. I'm just saying I gave them a, some special medicine that put them to sleep for a while. Can't have them yelling for help or anything. That would ruin the game. Now. Don't worry, boys. I will be doing other activities as well. Can't waste all my time pestering and annoying my little brother. Now I have other things to do. And I still have this company to run. Plus, Stu Corp does have other enemies, like the Red Lotus and others. Plus, I need to make sure to pay the collector a great sum. I'm sure you know, he's not loyal to no one, not even to me. He's someone I don't want to be an enemy of yes. Now, I hope you enjoy this, this great performance. Now, the way how we end it, as you always go. But before that, a public announcement. I'm sure you kids I've noticed the weather. One minute is hellish hot, the next is super cold. That's why, before you leave the house, boys and girls, check your app for the weather. Whether it's going to be hot or cold, so you can dress appropriately. Trust me, it'll save you a lot of grief. I'm going to have to develop a summer outfit. I can't be going outside again with this lab going on. I was sweating like Oof. Oof. It's almost sweet. Anyway. Now, it's the same way as we always ended it. Number three games. You too could be a member of Stu. Because everyone wants to be a member of Stu. Don't they? Oh, yes. Before I forget. Again. Right? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me, Dr. Clone, on Stu Corp. On YouTube. Don't forget to send me lots of love. Because you know, Dr. Clone loves the love. Because I love sending love back. Time to get back to work. So much things to do.